everybody, today, um, today, mm -hmm. Reggie Drago is actually released in raids, so we're going to be trying to get him from the Battle League, because anytime there's a legendary in raids, he is actually in the Battle League. I did not, I, I was trying to get him earlier, and I couldn't, but I did get a stupid three-star Wulu, so, um, yeah, we're going to be trying to do that, everybody, so, uh, yeah. First, let's take a look at my battle team for this. Yeah, uh, by the way, you cannot hear the game because I have the game volume turned off. I've been ever ever since I've been creating Pokemon Go videos, I've been getting comments that are like, "OMG, this game is so freaking loud! I hate this. The game is loud. Stop, please stop. It hurts my ears." So yeah, I have it turned off, and I only have my microphone on. I also have my screen toucher here where you can see it just right there like that. I'm not going to change it though. So for my Great League team, we have Snorlax with Body Slam, Feral with Sky Attack and Drill Run, and then a Berserker with Iron Head. Uh, Berserker, I'm actually very, very, very proud of. And um, here's, here's a guy that I occasionally keep on the Ultra League team. This is my Arcanine with Brock Smash and Flamethrower. I do want to get a new, like, fast attack on him, though, so we're just going to quickly do that. And then I'll get back to you after I have, um, yeah. So, let's use one of my fast TMs. Let's search up Arcanon. There we go. I have two Arbox? Huh? Snarl? No. Okay, it looks like Snarl and Rock Smash are the only two that he learns. We'll keep him on Snarl. But, yeah. So we're just going to literally join and rejoin. We're just going to literally... Here, I'll move that over there for now. But um, what we're going to do is literally mm -hmm. the second I get in here, I'm just going to leave. It's free Stardust and um, yeah. Alright, so, um, I'm gonna beat the first two off camera, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you then. Alright, guys, I am back. I did win those two mm. battles. The first one was, like, actually fairly easy to beat. The second one, on the other hand, I lost the first battle in the second one. However, I did just barely get by with the second battle. So, yeah, if you see here, I did win those two. Um... And if you look right there, you can see Reggie Drago just chilling on right over there. Any five-star legendary that's in raids is right there in the Battle League. So if you want to test your luck, you can go ahead. Um, probably should have sent this earlier, by the way. If you have your smellometer, smellometer turned up on your TV, you may want to turn it down just, like, the entire way. Because I may or may not smell like... A 20 pound bacon just jumped right inside of me. I mean, hey, it's not my fault. Bacon's good, all right? But, um, yeah, we're gonna test our luck here. We have two tries. If we lose the first one, we can try again. Um, yeah, basically, we're just gonna be trying to get Reggie Drago in this video. Testing our luck. Mm. Maybe we can get a Hundo, Shundo, even a Shiny, really. I'm just hoping to get Reggie Drago at very, very least. At very most, Shundo, but I don't think he is shiny yet. So, yeah, we got the plaque in the back. Beside my back. Okay. So, really, whenever you have a move like that, that's uh, coming at you very, very fast. Most of the times, it's not as powerful, but in that case, it was, so... And sometimes the po the mon can just be like a fast attacker, like both of these guys are here. That's why it like didn't take so long. But they're very charged up, and I'm not letting Snorlax die this early, so I will use one of my many shields. 
Fun fact, in normal Pokemon games, leveled up Pokemon to like level 30, they all have at least four moves at one point, you know? And in this game, you're like, oh, well, they only have two moves, why is that? Really, they all have three at least, and if you do it right, they can have four. You can literally, like, use your Stardust and your Candy for that Mon to give them a fourth move, or a second move, if you call it. Every Pokemon here has a quick move that they use to charge up their first moves, and um, then they have the other move that they char that they use that when when charged up to battle. As to where my Firo here has two moves, I don't actually know which one I'm gonna use. I'm prob. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, I hate Dread again. We're probably losing this battle. Night Slash. Yeah. Uh, boy, I barely get by that. Okay, I hope he does not shield here. I really want to get this drill run off and get Drudigan just out of my hands and out of my hair. But when you have two moves like that, that means you have three. And then the protects are also actually moves. At least I count them as. Because they're the shields, you know? Stop calling them shields. Call them protects. It literally says, when you're about to use a shield, it says, do you want to protect? It doesn't say, do you want a shield? It says, do you want to protect? Stop calling them shields. Call them protects. And in the game, there is a move that you can use 5 or 15 times, and it's called Protect. In this case, you can use it only tw twice. However, this game is just weird in general, so we're not really going to question it. But yeah, we did lose the first battle there. Um, so uh, that is terrible. However, we do have another chance to try and win over for our Regidrago. <clears throat> do you think I could win at the? Do you think I could win with it like that? Mm. Think so? No. Okay, I'll move it back. Um. Swampert. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna argue. Swampert's nice to fight against when you have the correct moms. He does have Surf though, and Surf scares me because Surf is fast. Surf is powerful and it's fast, so I just don't like it. No, here we have Body Slam where he just comes up and takes a big old nap on you. Uh, he's either charging up his Surf twice or what? No. Uh, okay, I'm gonna block. I'm gonna shield. I'm gonna protect there. Um, yeah, Muddy Water. I could probably have lived. Yeah, he was charging it up. Okay, I'm probably gonna live this. He was charging up his move. Yeah, I should live that. Yeah, yeah, no problem. I should have lived that. He could have had waterfall or surf or really anything. I just didn't want to risk it, so yeah. I don't know why he's shielding. He knows that I'm body slam. He knows this won't kill him. Like, why shield your first two times? Like, wh dude, are you a freaking? G are you Giovanni? Are you? Are you, like what? It doesn't even touch me. That's a tick. What? Alright. Dude charge it up four times in a row. Whatever. This literally doesn't even touch me. This tickles me. This tickles my belly. This is tickling Snorlax's belly. This is tickling his chin. This doesn't even touch me. Alright, now he's dead. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, now that's especially, like, why would you do that? I don't know how Berserker's gonna fear against this guy because he's groundwater. So I'm sending in Furo. Blastoise. Ooh, okay. Shiny, shiny, uh, glasses, Blastoise. Nice. I am going to, uh, Sky Attack because my, my drill run is Ground Attack, and if you didn't know, water is good on ground. Wow. Oh boy, okay. I am definitely protecting there. Nah. Sorry. Usually I would use both protects on Preserver, but... In this case, I'm not risking it at all. Okay, he switched into Sharpedo there. Another water type. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna uh sky attack again. Because water's good on ground and ground's not good on water, so they're just really Oh wow, that guy got decimated. Okay. Give it your all. Go Berserker! Yes! We won the battle and we can now claim our prize just like that. 
And if you didn't know, these catches right here, those those spawns, they're always going to be guaranteed catches. Always. Unless you run out of Pokeballs. And you can even, like, exit, and you'll still be able to come back later. Please? Ah, just an Onyx. This could be a Hundo, though, so I'm still going to catch it. And this also could be level 50, because Onyx does not go very high ever. I think its max is, like, 1,001, maybe. There we go. Okay. So, we got it. How do I have Steelix Mega Energy? How do I have Steelix Mega Energy? What? I don't even have Steelix. I never had a... How do I have that Mega Energy? What? Hundo? Ooh, just barely not, honestly. Still sucks, though. Not level 50. I'm sending him to the professor immediately. We also completed a task right down here, so I'm gonna, um... There's my Stardust. I'm gonna claim this now. This is three out of five. I think it ends in like 30 minutes or 30 days or something. Oh, wow. Yeah, three out of five. When does this end? 36 days, yeah. Uh, oh boy. So our luck was, um, our luck was tested here. I already checked those guys. None of those guys are shiny. I'm going to try and catch this Halo so I can complete another task. Our luck was tested, and our luck was dried out. We could not get the Reggie Drago. But uh, if I'll be battling just in case because, you know, this game's fun and I like battling. Oh, wow. Do I evolve this? I could just really power him up. No, no, I couldn't. Wow. Uh... No. I'll transfer him. He sucks. And now we can complete this task. But, yeah. I don't even have a Steelix. So how do I have Steelix Mega Energy if I don't have a Steelix? Somebody explain this, please. Um, please, somebody explain that. I don't even have the Metal Coat. I'm trying to get the Metal Coat so I can evolve my Scyther. And then I'm going to try and get Mega Caesar Energy and Mega Blaziken Energy. Uh, Mega Steelix Energy will also be something I'm trying to grind for because those are just three cool Megas that I like. Uh, Mega Blastoise, um, Mega Lucario, mostly. I don't even have a real Lu or Lucario, Lucario at all. But that's going to do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>